We just printed this. So what is this and what do I mean by printing? This is a printed aluminum monster ram for 67 Cummins with EGR. Back in 07, Cummins came out with a 67 and they've gradually improved that engine right up to today. We saw an opportunity to improve the airflow from the charge air cooler into the cylinder head. And we came up with the monster ram. Absolutely knocked it out of the park in terms of airflow. And one way to do that was we provide a special injector line that allowed us to shape where we go into the cylinder head very optimally. The stock injection line prevents you doing that. This high pressure inj injection line, which comes with the monster ram, this separated the men from the boys. Everybody else hacked into their design to provide for the stock injection line. We ended up flowing over 1,000 CFM with this. Uh, the second best design was 826 CFM. Comparing that to stock, 432 CFM, we flow 133% more than the stock intake elbow, and the closest one to us, which is the pusher, flows 91% better. But it's got that dent in it to provide for the stock line. Highly popular product. Now we've got people who want one for the street to work with EGR. And I kind of got around to it finally. So when we wanted to do a prototype, we didn't go to a standard casting house and make temporary tooling and go through all of that. We went to our friends at Mimo Technic. They have the $2 million SLM printers that allow you to print a metal part. They do Inconel, stainless, aluminum, you name it. You can actually print the part. And it's absolutely durable and capable. In fact, if you designed to this printing method, we probably could have put some uh, hollow sections in this thing and cut its weight in half without sacrificing anything else. We didn't. This is going to end up being a sand cast part. These are tooling supports for us to set it up in our machine shop and machine it appropriately. So these guys will be cut off in the end. So we end up with an EGR compatible monster ram that still flows over a thousand CFM, still outperforms everybody else, but you can drive it on the street legally and that's the whole intent. So all the stock stuff bolts right to the top of it. The stock throttle bolts right to the inlet and that will all happen after we machine the part. How does this machinery work? This is pretty sexy stuff. This part is built in layers and those layers are, are 50 microns thick. So you have the media, in this case the aluminum, which is an alloy with some silicon content, but it's close to 356, which is an alloy I love to use. The printing process is the magic though. The machine lays down 50 micron thick layers of the aluminum powder. And then the laser precisely melts that 50 micron thick layer, adding it, it one to the next. By the way, 50 microns is two thousands. This piece is built out of layers, two thousandths thick, that are so precisely melted into each other that you have an absolutely sound, I, I want to say casting, it's not a casting, it's better than a casting in that the density is more consistent. You don't have inclusions or air bubbles or any of that kind of thing going on. Gives us an incredibly accurate test part. This thing 
took 38 hours to print. So it doesn't happen instantly. And I love this. These cats down at Mimo, they are motorsports guys. In the past, I've hot rodded our tube benders over in the tube shop, things like that, may make the process happen faster, do things that the ma manufacturer never thought of. It's all cycle time. These guys have also improved the cycle time of their machines. They've hot rodded these $2 million machines. You know, it's one of these things where if you're into hot rodding or racing uh, or just plain engine design or engine building, you totally get what's going on here. You can't keep your hands off. Years ago, and I mean years ago, our, our dishwasher broke at home. And I start pulling it apart, and my wife says, uh-uh, it's over. My wife goes, get away from that dishwasher. You're not hot rodding the dishwasher. I've had it with you screwing with my appliances. I'm calling the service guy. These guys are on the same wavelength. I love working with these guys. And I'm looking forward to getting the finished machining done. We've got to take this guy, put it on our test truck, run it in our emissions lab in the next building north. And if it passes emissions, it's on the market. If you're interested in one of these, Leave a note in the comments down below. I'd really appreciate it. All right, off to the machine shop.